All right, this lesson is for Algebra 1107. Some more story problems. You thought you were done. And they did give you a break for the first part of the pace here. Not uh, as many story problems, or at least they're a little easier. Uh, this is 18 through 20 is kind of an interesting type. This is um, work problems, where we try to figure out how fast a job can get done if some people are working together. And um, so like maybe you have the elementary age boy mowing the lawn and he can do it in three hours, but the older teenage son could get the job done in two hours. And then the question is if they worked together, how long would it take them to get the lawn done? So a real practical problem, you know. Um, th the pace doesn't do a real good job, I don't think, of explaining this formula. And you don't have to really understand it, we just have to kind of use it, okay? And that is that um, we take whatever the amount of time it takes to do one job for the first person, plus this is the jobs being done in how many minutes or hours or whatever for the second person. And then if we add those together, then that will equal the length of time it takes for them together to do one job. Now, once we start solving it, it's really actually pretty easy because we're going to get the common denominator for this entire equation and then multiply through by that least common denominator. And then what happens is all the fractions cancel out and we can literally solve for RT or X in the case of the pace and um, and the answer works out. Okay, so let's let's walk through. I think it's problem number uh, two on page 19. It talks about a farmer, and he it takes him 24 hours to plow a field. His son has a bigger tractor, and so he's able to do the same field in 12 hours. And the question is, how long will it take them if they both have their tractors out there in the field working to get the job done? So we're going to first do 1 over 24 plus 1 over 12 equals 1 over, and we'll call it x, okay? And we're trying to figure out how many hours it's going to take. So what is the common denominator of this entire equation? Well, 12 is a factor of 24, so actually 24x is the least common denominator here. And I'm just going to multiply that, kind of distribute it out times everything. And in the pace, in the example they show, they just multiply this times the first one, this times the second, this times the third. That has the same effect, okay? When I multiply this times this, notice that the 24 cancels the 24, and so I just get 1x. Here, 24x times 1 over 12, the 12 will cancel against the 24, and I'll have 2x. And then over here, the x is going to completely cancel out. And so I'll just get 24. And now, I'm going to let you finish this, okay? Because you know how to add 1x plus 2x, and then how to solve for x, okay? So finish this problem, solve for x, and then you can figure out the answer to the way the question is worded. But I wanted you to see how we set this up. We take the, the, the number of jobs, which in this case is one job, one field, can be done in this time, 24, plus one job in 12 hours, and then equals one over the total jobs, or the total time. <clears throat> And then we have to get a common denominator, multiply everything through to get all these denominators to cancel out. And when you've done that and solve for x, you have the time that it will take for them together to be able to do one entire field. So the other three problems, they only have three problems, two on this page, two on the next page. And then, of course, they'll throw in at you on the checkup and the self-test, pace test. So you get a few more. <clears throat> but they're all of this type, okay? So hopefully uh, this short lesson will uh, give you some tips on how to set these up. And hope you do well.